Last generation's education after high school most often meant a four year university, but technical schools have become a growing option now for today's young people as they look at career options. 13's Madison Bickley is here tonight. She spoke with Washburn University leaders to learn how that school is supporting those students. David, the decision of going back to school, where to go and what to pursue can feel overwhelming and the financial strain often leaves many students questioning what their next steps are. Washburn University says they have resources to help. Financial hurdles are the number one hurdle why, why students do not go to college. Washburn University President Dr. Julianne Mazacek says it's important for students to weigh their long-term goals when making educational decisions. Whether it's technical college or university, and we want to be able to remove those the best that we can so that we can have the most highly qualified workforce we can possibly have in the state of Kansas and that students can see their dreams come true. She says students are not alone in the process. Wherever you want to go to college, whatever um, technical college or university you want to pursue, call their admissions office. Tell them what your what your worries are. They are going to help you navigate a path. Washburn University students say the resources are there for you even after the enrollment process. You just have to be willing to ask for help. There's a math lab where you can go for I think just about any math class or there's an English writing lab that helps with any part of the English writing process. So there's, we have so many different resources here that makes like every class doable and attainable to pass on the first go. They make it known that like, you're not gonna get through college on your own. You're gonna have a bunch of different people surrounding you as support. Both Washburn and Washburn Tech saw enrollment increase from 2022 to 2023. Information on their programs is available on WIBW.com. Thanks, Madison.